Jose, how satisfied were you with the performance and the result this evening? Very, very, very. The result is obviously very good. The points, but also the, the, the score, the goals, you never know. You never know if you, if you need that. But I think the performance was very solid since the first minute. In the first minute, we could score immediately. And we kept always the control of, uh, of the game and the result. And I think we play good football, but also with uh, intelligence, maturity. And away at home in, in the Champions is not, is not easy to, to perform like this. What does that do for confidence in this competition? <coughs> given what happened against that, Basel? That, uh, the way I was saying before, uh, we need to clean what we did at home, and we did it with, with a good result, with a good performance. So now we have three points in, uh, in two matches, uh, but uh, we are not in a dramatic situation, we are in a, in a close situation. Uh, Basel lost, they have the same points as as us, of course, uh, Chalka now is in in advantage. We have a double fixture against uh, against them. We go to Basel. We finished the competition playing at home with with Steaua. I think we are going to do it. I think we are going to to qualify. This result today is important because if you don't win, uh, you are a bit in under pressure. But with this result, I think confidence comes. And in this moment, we have just to to control the situation, make some points against Schalke. <coughs> Sorry, beat Basel and stay out and, and we qualify, so let's go for it. Andre Schürrle came into the team, it's the first time he's, he's featured in the Champions League for you. Um, how instrumental was he in that victory? He was fundamental. I think we, we identified very well what we had to do to try to, to penetrate in this, in, in this defence. And um, he was the man. He was the man uh, for that, uh, the position where... He was playing was was a position where uh, we know that that we could and we play a lot from from that side. We kept him there and uh, we play a lot from from there. But I think the team was was solid defensively. We we, we had good ball possession. Uh, people in midfield, Juan and Oscar, uh, joining them. I think we always had the control of the game. We always took the ball out of the pressure zone from the opponent and we found spaces and. Uh, we scored four, probably six, seven, no problem because we, we played really good. Perhaps on the, the downside, you lost Fernando Torres very early on in the game. Can you tell us what the problem is as far as he's concerned? Uh, even, even I was surprised because I, thought, uh, because I saw him slide, I thought it was an ankle. It's not an ankle, it's a knee. So we have to, to, to wait. Tomorrow we'll, we'll have the, the scans and we'll see what happens. What's your gut feeling? I hope it's not one more dramatic like, like Van Ginkel and Doc Bioska says that for not to be so worried because it will be not a Van Ginkel situation. But Do you fear it might be though? No, during the game no, I thought it was an ankle. I was surprised when I saw at half time that the problem was in, in the knee but uh, hopefully it's not so dramatic as Van Ginkel was. And do you welcome the news today that the FA will not be taking any retrospective action against uh, Fernando for what happened during the, the game against Spurs? It doesn't surprise me because uh, the FA represents the English football. And in the English football, you never punish emotion and uh, aggressivity. You punish when somebody doesn't respect the integrity of, of the game by cheating, by, by, by simulating. And the FA defended what is the nature of the, of the English football and the, and, and the fair play in the English football and was enough, especially because he didn't deserve the second uh, yellow card. Well done tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Long conversation with, with Jose Mourinho at the